This is an important government announcement. We are delighted to announce the advancement in our science towards COVID. And we have discovered, ladies and gentlemen, some amazing scientific discoveries. For example, we know that from Monday, COVID will start being very, very dangerous if you are mixing in groups of between seven and 30 people. We also know that that will only start on Mondays, which means you can have a really nice weekend. And we're thankful for COVID for being so accommodating. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the other good news is that the scientists have also discovered that that doesn't apply in the workplace, no matter how bad a company you work for. So if you work for McDonald's, for example, uh, we're glad to tell you that the virus uh, scientists, obviously you follow the science, scientists have discovered that it doesn't spread at work. So you can just carry on going to work, you lot. That's good news, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Now, the other good news uh, we had actually back a few weeks ago was that, that the virus was no longer able to go two meters. It's now one meter plus. It's lost its velocity somewhere along the line between March and May. So that's got to be good news. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the other thing about, there are some cruel aspects, actually, which is, for example, that the virus doesn't seem to spread in pubs, but it does seem to spread in AA meetings, which is why you're not allowed to have an AA meeting, but you can go to the pub, which is a bit of a problem, especially during the times of a pandemic, when, you know, suicide seems like a really good option. Um, so that's what my psychotherapist said to me anyway. But the other thing the scientists have discovered also is that um, singing in a church, uh, that, that's when the, the virus likes, likes a lot of singing in churches, so you're not allowed to do that. The virus is quite popular up in Bolton at the moment. Um, it, yeah, it likes Bolton for some reason. I personally can't see, I don't know if anyone here has ever been to Bolton, but to me, I can't see what the attraction is, to be honest, but the virus seems to like it. Although they never tell us, like, how many people they're testing and how accurate those tests are, don't they? Shh, don't ask any questions. That's right, because we're trying to manage your perception, aren't we? No, we're the government. That's what we do, isn't it? No, no, it's not. We run the country. Of course Boris runs the country. Of course he does. Of course he doesn't sniff loads of cocaine. Of course he doesn't. How could he get away with that? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. You've been very nice to me today, and um, I hope that you stay safe, which is also, by the way, part of the propaganda. By saying stay safe, they're obviously pounding within you that you should be really frightened about the virus. Really, seriously, the virus is probably going to be the last of your problems. You have lots of other really serious issues, like alcoholism, to deal with before the virus. That is much more likely to kill you. Please, guys, you need to take better drugs. It's only Friday afternoon and you're already taking alcohol. Why aren't you getting stoned instead? You, over there, with a beard. What's your excuse? You're doing both? All right, fair enough. It's very disrespectful to Mary Jane. So don't do alcohol and cannabis. It ruins it. That's what my dad used to say. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. You've been a lovely crowd. I'm Social Experimentalist on YouTube. Keep safe. <laughs> and uh, and don't reproduce whatever you do.